For all your embroidery and digitizing needs, call Bees Embroidery. The CDC estimates that 50 million adults in the United States live with chronic pain, many of whom take opioids for their symptoms. Updated data on the benefits and harms of opioid use for treating chronic pain is important in light of estimates that up to 12 million people misused opioids in 2017, the vast majority of whom were misusing prescription opioids. This week in JAMA, we have a systematic review and analysis of randomized trials comparing the effects of opioids versus placebo and other drugs for chronic non-cancer pain. The primary outcomes of the meta-analysis were pain intensity, physical functioning, and incidence of vomiting. The meta-analysis included 96 randomized clinical trials with a total of over 26,000 participants, and the researchers report that compared with placebo, opioid use was associated with reduced pain and improved physical functioning. But the magnitude of the associations was small. Opioids reduced pain severity by a weighted mean difference of 0.69 centimeters on the visual pain scale, with a modeled risk difference for achieving the minimally important difference of one centimeter equal to 11.9%. Opioids improve physical functioning by a weighted mean difference of 2.04 points on the SF36 scale, with a modeled risk difference for achieving the minimally important difference of 5 points of 8.5%. Opioid use was also significantly associated with increased vomiting. Furthermore, low to moderate quality evidence suggested that NSAIDs, tricyclic antidepressants, and anticonvulsants were associated with improvements in pain and physical functioning similar to opioids. And in six trials that compared different doses of opioids, there is no clear demonstration of a dose response effect for pain, functional recovery, or adverse GI events. The authors conclude that opioid use was associated with statistically significant but small improvements in pain and physical functioning and increased risk of vomiting compared with placebo. Comparisons of opioids with non-opioid alternatives suggested that the benefit for pain and functioning may be similar. An accompanying editorial points out that the outcomes reported in this study are likely to represent the best case scenario because 72% of the included studies excluded patients with current or prior substance use disorder, and 47% of the studies excluded patients who had a diagnosed mental illness or who were taking a psychotropic medication. However, this is often not the case in the clinical setting.